What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So today I don't really have an organized plan of uh, tips here. We're gonna be doing one of those kind of just follow me along the whole day kind of videos. Typically when I do those, you guys like them. And so I've got just a lot of little things that I've been waiting to catch up on that I just haven't got to. And I mean, it's the beginning of August here. It's a super hot month. It's a really good excuse to be outside and catch up on a lot of things and test some new products and all kinds of other things like that. Of course, I'll also be giving you an update on our 1801 spray as well as updating you on some plans that we have coming for the fall. Just let me do this. I'm just gonna give you a quick list of everything that you can expect to see in the video today, right now. Now there is one thing that I need to do before I get too crazy in this video, and that is I did a midweek mow this week. I did a, a Wednesday weeknight mow. I know that a lot of you guys enjoy doing the weeknight lawn work. Check out my Facebook group, link in the description below, and uh, join there where everybody likes to post pictures of their weeknight lawn work. So I went ahead and did cut this Wednesday, but a lot of you guys ask like, Alan, when you're doing that midweek cut, are you also edging? And the answer is no, not typically. I'm not usually edging or weed whacking. So I usually just edge or weed whack only on the weekend mow, and then I just do a straight mow on the Wednesday mow. Interestingly enough though, we've had a lot of rain, but the lawn is growing super slow. If you remember, the last thing I've done here is some microgreen 002, pretty heavy dose back at the very beginning of July. But other than that, I haven't done anything here. So the lawn is not growing super fast. So I'm actually not gonna have to mow today, today's Saturday, but I am gonna go ahead and edge and weed whack just to give her a nice cleanup. And this is nice because I've always told you guys that my lawn actually looks the best like three days after a cut and that's where it's at right now. So let me edge it all up and then show it off a little bit. These little freaking guys are everywhere. We're gonna talk about them in our video today. Uh, a few of you had noticed in the last video that I had a truck in the driveway, and uh, yes, I did go ahead and finally get myself a truck. I'm not gonna to talk too much about it today or anything. I mean, I love the truck. It's a Toyota Tundra. Um, I actually know the dealer and everything. We're good friends, but honestly, if you're gonna buy a Tundra and they didn't sponsor this and they didn't ask for this, they did give me an incredible experience. I bought the car, I bought the truck, 100% online over email and they dr delivered it on late on a Friday night for me. No extra charge. Anyway, this they, again, they didn't sponsor, I, I bought this, but if you are gonna buy a Toyota Tundra and you're me, you're the lawn care nut, there's only one place to buy it and that place is... Now the reason that is, is because Beaver Toyota, you wanna know where it's located? St. Augustine, Florida. Gotcha. I will say I am gonna miss my Hyundai. Um, I had planned to keep that car forever, but just the way things are going with the channel here, you're gonna hear a lot more. There's gonna be an announcement made in this video here, but you're gonna hear a lot more in the coming weeks. Um, I need to have a truck in order to keep the channel going. Well, at least that's the excuse I gave my wife, is I need a new truck to keep the channel going where I want it to go. So you guys use whatever excuse you need to use to get a new truck. I use the fact that I need the Lawn Care Nut channel to keep going. I mean, I, you gotta do what works for you, right?
All right, next thing I have on tap then is some perimeter pest control. And as you guys know, I always wanna calculate some math for you. I'm gonna show you some products. So this product that I've got here that we're using today is labeled for millipedes, both indoor and outdoor. I'm not spraying indoor, but I am gonna spray outdoor and I'm gonna do a complete perimeter pest. And I'm just gonna kinda of show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how much it's gonna cost, how we're gonna spray it, what I'm gonna spray it with, how to measure out your square footage to know if you have enough product on hand. And then just teach you how to calculate out the numbers. That way, if you wanna use a similar product or another product that you can find at Home Depot, which you can find, products very similar to this, you can calculate out their numbers and see how they compare to this. But this is what you would consider a professional product. Doesn't mean you can't get this over the counter. I'm gonna give you the actives to do the math for yourself, but I just wanted to show you, this is the product that I'm using doing a little perimeter pest control. So I'm using this Tempered FX and the active ingredients in here are imidacloprid and Cyflutrin. You definitely have heard me mention these before. But before we go getting too crazy, let me tell you why I'm doing this. Number one is, is I like to do perimeter pest control two to three times a year, you know, just to keep out the ants, fleas and ticks and whatever else can get in the house, I don't know. But mainly I'm, I'm really kind of concerned about ants, that's me. Um, and then roaches here in Florida and other things like that. But lately, I've actually had a massive invasion of centipedes. I mean, like it's been raining a lot and it's chasing them out of the lawn and they're everywhere. And I don't know a lot about centipedes. They don't actually bother me. They're not a dirty bug or anything like that. I, I'm, there's a ton of them in my lawn, so I don't know if that is good or bad. Um, they can't be bad for it, they're not harming it. That's why they don't bother me. But the problem is they're coming into the house. So just check out this video. So here's a perfect example of what's happening. I think these guys, you know, they're coming out of the grass back there and they're just doing their migration and they're hitting the house. And so they just keep like heading that way because they're just relentless and they end up in the house. Check this out. And you know, the thing is, it's not like I hate these guys. They're not dirty bugs or anything. I actually think they're kind of cute, but you know, still you don't, you don't want them in your house. My wife definitely doesn't want them in the house, so. So here's our perimeter pest control. I have 2,500 square feet in which to treat, and I'm gonna show you what that means and how I measured it and figured it out. It's a little bit more complicated than just the numbers you see there. Um, and then of course, like I said, we're gonna be using Tempered FX, which is uh, imidacloprid and Cyflutrin. Now, okay, so the first thing then we're gonna look at is, um, it comes in two different sizes. This is a single use pack right here, and basically you dump this into one gallon of water and it'll treat 1,000 square feet. So if you had like a small outbreak, you had like a one gallon cheap sprayer like that, and you just had small area to spray or something like that, this might be for you. And you can see here it's an eight milliliter. So to calculate the single use rate then, it's, a, it's an eight milliliter again, and that goes into one gallon of water. I think this is, yeah, it's a liquid in there. And uh, that goes into one gallon of water, single use, and the cost is $6.98 to buy that. So that means it's $6.98 per thousand. That's actually pretty expensive, especially when you see how much cheaper it is when you invest in the larger, you know, uh, tip and pour here. However, if you're somebody that only needs a little bit and you need the convenience of that and you don't want to store it, because that can be a challenge for some people, they just don't want to store insecticide and stuff, then that you can pay a little bit more and you can get the convenience of the single use. So, but this is what I'm using here and just wait till you see how far this will go. Uh, this this is a 240 milliliter tip and pour here. So there it is right there. And uh, remember, our application rate is still eight milliliters. So this is the label off of that. And of course I read this, but you can see it right here. Dilution rate is, well, I don't know if it's gonna be able to focus on there, but uh, again, I'm reading the label here and you can see it is eight milliliters per gallon. That is the rate we're going with. There is a higher rate that you can do, but we're just doing the low rate. I don't need to go too crazy here. So the, when we go through our math, um, we can see again our application rate, eight milliliters per thousand. This is a 240 milliliter tip and pour that you get here. And so if you take 240 divided by eight, that means you'll get 30 applications that each cover 1,000 square feet. So that means this bottle then covers 30,000 square feet at that eight ounce rate. Obviously, if you took the rate up to the double rate, which you could do, then it would only cover 15,000. But I, I recommend you stay with the lower rate. And then if you factor in your cost, it costs $69 for this right here, link in the description below. And so 69 divided by 30 is $2.30 per thousand. And so as I told you, I've got 2,500 square feet. So what is that, 236, six, 
465, I don't know, like just under six bucks or something like that. So it's gonna cost me right around six dollars for my application. All right then, and the next thing you're gonna ask is, well, Alan, how do you know that you have 2,500 square feet? And the answer is that I measured, so. Dollar weed. 70 feet. Remember to get square footage, you just do length times width. So in this case, we have to look at the areas that we're gonna spray and then measure it out. So the first thing you need to do though is just go ahead and get your length. So all sides of your house. My house happens to be 70 linear feet all the way around on each one. So I've got seven times four, 280 linear feet. And then your application technique and how you're gonna spray and what you're gonna spray is what's gonna dictate the rest of your square footage. Now, actually, but we're gonna spray up, you know, three feet up and three feet out basically is kind of the rule. So you can just do a measurement that way then because we just got the length and then that means the width is six, right? Three feet up and three feet out, that's six. Now we're gonna do around the window sills and we're also gonna do the eaves. So if you look here, you know, those, we're gonna do, you know, a good spray there out. That's another two feet that way. So we gotta kind of think about all of those areas. So if we're gonna do one foot down there and two feet out there, that's three feet by the length. And then down here, we're gonna do three feet up and three feet out, that's six feet by the length. Windows are free, we won't count those, but we are gonna do all around the windows, but we won't try to put that in the square footage. We'll just kind of see how we end up. Now, I'm also gonna be spraying a portion of the lawn. I also said that around windows and doors is free, so we're just gonna make sure that I have enough mixed up for the 2,500 plus some, and then we'll go from there. What I don't wanna do is end up with extra, but if I do, because this is also an interior product, I can use this all inside of my garage, I'll use it inside of my lanai. I may also use it in the bathrooms, like underneath the cabinets and things like that. But again, I don't really wanna have too much left, and I'm really looking for this to be an outside control. You could also use this for mosquitoes and spray it on the lawn, same thing do a really good job for that, but that's not the purpose of my application today. Even though I am gonna spray a small area in the back, a small spot around the pool of grass, that's because that's an area where we tend to like to walk, and so I want all the pests out of there. All right, so I just wanna put a bow here on the on the end here with this uh, square footage, so I know I was a little bit crazy with that. So 2,500 square feet, how did I get that? Well, remember you got basically two areas that you're gonna spray on each side. You're gonna spray the lower part, which is three feet up and three feet out, and then you're gonna spray up top, which is about two feet by one foot. So the way that I did that then is I calculated it's, I'm 70 feet long all the way down, and then here I've got a two foot by one foot at the top of the wall, and then here's the bottom of the wall, which is a three foot by three foot, right? So the way I look at that then is, three times 70 is 210, so the top on each side is 210 square feet, and then down here I did six times 70, which is 420 square feet, so that means that each side of the house is 630 square feet, and when I take 630 times four, I basically, to make my math easy, I come up with 2,500 square feet. So you wanna shake this up real good? I got 2,500 square feet to do, plus 500 square feet of lawn in the back, plus around the edges. So I'm gonna make up three gallons, right? 2.5 gallons should cover all of my perimeter, including up and down, and then the extra 500 square feet, that'll be for around windows and doors, and then maybe a little bit out in the lawn. So actually, I probably should make three and a half gallons here, but we're just gonna do three gallons and see how far we get with it. So with that, then I'm gonna need, I got an eight milliliter fill, I'm gonna need 24 mil in order to do a three gallon fill. So I'm gonna do a 16 and an eight. You'll also see that I've got about a gallon of water already in here. Oh, last thing, I did switch to this. I'm not sure what tip this is or what they call it, it's the brass tip, but this is the one that just comes on every single sprayer. Um, we don't need a fan tip for this. We really need to be able to target this um, in the best way possible, depending if it's up or down, above or head, below. So I use this just general brass tip. That's the one that I put on here. kind of like patented technique here. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Uh, my, my idea here again is to get a good even coating with this, not put on too much, just till the walls glisten wet. Uh, and then from there, and then from there, I just don't wanna make a mess and get it all over myself. <laughs>
All right, now before we go getting too crazy with other stuff here, they're just finishing up mowing over there, but anyway, before we go getting too crazy with other stuff here, I did want to announce that Jake the Lawn Kid and I have secured a project lawn for 2019, but the good news is it's actually going to start this year in 2018. Jake the Lawn Kid and I have a rehab that we found. Well, it's actually not a rehab. It's actually a lawn that was just newly planted, but hasn't really grown in very well. It was seeded. It's an area that was just wild for a long time, and now there's a house there. So either way, it's going to make a great project lawn. We're going to start it here in the fall, and he and I are going to kind of go back and forth on it and tag team it. He's gonna shoot videos from his personal point of view and I'm gonna shoot mine from my point of view while we work together. So it's gonna be a really interesting way to kind of do a YouTube collaboration but also to give us a project lawn to work on together for more than a full year. If you haven't seen Jake the Lawn Kids channel, I'm gonna link that in the description below. Again, make sure you subscribe there because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be sharing our footage. We're both gonna be taking footage our own way and doing our own thing, but we're gonna share all the footage and we're gonna edit from the footage. The reason I say that is because what do I always tell you guys? Repetition is the key to learning, and in this case, you're gonna get two points of view on the same exact lawn, and I think that'll really help with the learning, and it also will help my buddy Jake's channel to grow, which of course is something I want to happen as well. All right, so let's go over here and check out the results. Now, this is the results from our 1801 app. Now, keep in mind, the lawn behind me right here, this was treated with 002 microgreen on the very first of July, and you can see the color still looks really, really good here. Um, so as we pan around this way, this is where you're gonna see the 1801. This is six days after it's been sprayed. Here you go. There it is. So I'm actually not seeing a ton of difference. I, you can see the line where I kind of sprayed right through there, and you can see a little bit of a difference and you can also see now keep in mind i mowed here wednesday when i take you around to show you the back remember the back hasn't been mowed the back's also not been fertilized in months and months and months but this was mowed just this wednesday just a few days ago the back lawn has not been mowed at all it's been growing for over a week so you're going to see a little bit more dramatic in the back just because i didn't mow it off this was actually growing through wednesday then i cut it and now it's regrown just a couple of days worth but still i like the color i think it's looking really good i mean you can see i don't know we're both uncut at this point so you know definitely a little bit of domination there but uh once he cuts then i'll be winning but <laughs> we'll see when that is but again you can see right down through there where i sprayed and it's definitely a little bit darker over there if i come back over here from this angle you can kind of see where the line is right through there So either way, I mean, the results are not super dramatic back here. I mean, the lawn is green. Look at it. It looks great. So we'll have to just see. And, and again, that was a low dose, 16 ounces per thousand. We will do a lot more. I'm also probably not that good with that hose in sprayer yet. And I'm going to test some different ones. Um, but worth the one, I don't know, it just doesn't agree with me super well. So I don't want to dog it. I'm just going to try some other stuff. But either way, I mean, the color is great. But let me take you in the back and show you where the real results are or what the real dramatic look is because that had no fur at all. So I'm pretty sure back here, you can definitely see the difference. You can see the line right there over my head. So darker, lighter. Um, you know, again, I don't do any kind of color correction or anything. The camera's gonna do what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'll pan you across it. You'll be able to see the difference. So you can see it's interesting because out in there is not as dark up in here is. And I've told you all I have must have different soil or whatever. This soil here just really seems to, I don't know. It just seems to react better than what's out there. But for sure, you can see the difference when I pan across. It also looks like I must have oversprayed like right there. See how it's greener right there? But you can definitely tell a difference. See, and you can really see it from here. So that's all treated right there and that's untreated up over there. It is pretty interesting to see though, again, the soil composition is different right here, so it just responds differently. But what's what's really interesting to me is this is a high point and that's a low point. So you would think the fertilizer would run down there, but for some reason it doesn't. So that's just something you have to remember about your site is next time that I spray, I'm gonna go a little lighter up here on top of the hill, even though that's counterintuitive. Typically I would tell you to go a little heavier on a hill and let everything else rush down, but definitely I need to go lighter on top of the hill heavier down in there. But either way, there you can really see the difference. So, I mean, obviously the fertilizer works 1801. We're gonna do a lot more experiments with it. And I mentioned that I'm gonna be doing the project along with Jake. We're gonna be using the next products or the Green County Furt starter furt as well as some 1801, some RGS. We're gonna be doing some seeding with it. We're gonna do some aerate and test it with seeding. We're gonna do all of those things. Me and Jake the Lawn Kid already had major plans. He's, as you see, he's already done quite a bit of footage. We are mapping everything out and we are ready to go here starting in the early fall.
about to become the uncut man watch this is rare that you see how to become like this is like literally me becoming the uncut man you can really see the domination from here though here we go oh yeah dude over there is probably wondering why i'm filming him he's looking at me like oh gosh all right, y'all, what's up? So today is Sunday now. I've just finished editing everything you've seen before this, and I figure I'm gonna give a final update, especially since becoming the uncut man, I wanna go ahead and just take advantage of that right now and uh, give you just one more update on the uh, 1801 <laughs> side. So it um, it just it seems to look better and better by the day. Now I have a different camera now too, um, just to give you an idea of how different exposures work. This is my old Sony camera that I always used to use. so it tends to expose the lawn better. So again, I don't do color correction or anything, but this will just give you an idea if you wanted to see it from this angle. And uh, who knows, I'm just looking for positives, but check this out. Blah, blah! <laughs> Bro, you cannot deny. And definitely now you can see in through there. So now let's just go look at the back real quick. Same thing, just take a look. Just kind of show you where we're sitting. And then uh, you can judge for yourself. And as far as uh, the stuff that I'm potting, I am gonna be doing some uh, tests with a company called Hydrotain. So that's what all that is back there. I'm gonna actually film that today, but uh, that'll be a video that'll come out another time. I don't even think it'll be a standalone video. It'll just be involved with some other stuff. But anyway, so that's what that all is. I'm not gonna get to that today. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, finish the edit on this, and then get out here and finish my work for the day. So I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.